a closer look at some tiny Bibles. Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at a very recent thrift store find. Found this at one of my favorite semi-local thrift shops. Uh, listed at the great bargain price of zero dollars. And as you see it comes in a little box. Focus right here. And here's what the box says National, New Testament, King James, Psalms, Proverbs, red, genuine leather, and then a product number there. Nothing else on the box. It's kind of a brown or gold tone with a hot pink stripe on the edge. The uh, lower half of the box doesn't have any info at all on it. Just the price sticker. I don't think there's anything under there. The Bible itself has a familiar look to it. It looks an awful lot like a Gideon Bible, which I have many of and I've shown on this channel uh, but I'm not aware of any Gideon Bibles that have genuine leather I don't know that I've ever seen a Gideon Bible that has gilding and at first I was going to say I've never seen a Gideon Bible that has a sewn binding uh, but that is not in fact true for comparison, I pulled out this, having trouble with my focus today, clearly. <clears throat> this very similar Gideon Bible, and uh, my understanding is that National, who manufactured this little New Testament, is who was making Gideon Bibles. So it's not surprising that they would make a Bible in this size probably used the same text block and just uh, manufactured these for private sale apart from their whatever contract they have with the Gideons. Uh, this Gideon material is uh, presumably a fake leather. But uh, closer look at the binding tells me that this is, in fact, sewn. So the older Gideon national-made New Testaments, I believe, do have a sewn binding, but not leather. And uh, some rouging, some red, but no uh, gold gilt on the edges. A um, little more modern slightly more modern Gideon Bible this one actually also still has what appears to be a sewn binding you can see the signatures there so that's not unusual but I think the the very newest Gideon Bibles um, no longer have that I could be wrong I'll have to find one of those and do a little comparison but this appears to be completely unused the pages are still mostly stuck together. It's gilding is immaculate. The box, you know, has seen some wear from being beat up in somebody's sock drawer or on a bookshelf. Um, you can hear the pages kind of coming apart for the first time. Kind of a cool textured vinyl paste down here. It has uh, head and tail bands, which I don't think I've ever seen that on a Gideon Bible. Kind of a red and maybe gold head and tail bands. No ribbon. That's kind of surprising. 
they went whole hog on everything else. But I was really super pleased to find this in the box. I did not know that National made Gideon-like Bibles uh, for sale. Apparently they did. Or maybe this would have been some type of a, I don't know, a gift uh, Bible type thing. I'm not sure. Never seen one before. <clears throat> you can see the sizes. I mean, they're it's an identical... Identical book. The print appears to be pretty much the same. So let me get to the same page and see if it's the exact same text block. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but boy, these pages are hard to turn. Looks to be the exact same text block. So not surprising there. But cool, kind of a red, maroon, wine red color. In genuine leather, gilding, uh, head and tail bands, just a really neat find in the box. And as much as I hate to say it, it's probably going to stay in the box because I like keeping it pristine. That's a nice, nice example of that Bible. So, found a few other things too that were very interesting to me and hopefully will be of interest to you as well that I'll be sharing uh, in the next couple of weeks probably. From that same thrift shop visit but wanted to get this out there quickly because uh, just a neat find thanks for spending some time looking this over with me today and uh, check in again watch the ones that you like like the ones that you watch and hope to see you here again next time